Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of After Dark with Megan and Mo. If this is your first time watching our video, please hit that subscribe button. Don't leave this page without hitting that red subscribe button. Thank you in advance, and I really appreciate it. Um, <laughs> obviously, we're not filming at the After Dark today. It's early in the morning, actually. But having a family with four kids, you have to basically get it whenever you can. That's just how it works. Um, the kids are still sleeping, so we feel like we can get in a couple. Uh, try and get in one, one video real quick. Um, you know, the purpose of our channel is to start dialogue. So when we when we have conversation about real serious topics, we we only hope to start a dialogue. Like we can't begin to affect some kind of change or, or anything like that unless people are talking about it. So hopefully we can start a dialogue, and you know, that'll be good. But um, we're not every video we do is not gonna be a serious topic. So some of them will be fun, you know, simple, light, light stuff. Like today, what we wanna talk about today is who's the best swimmer in the house. It's definitely not him. Hey, what's that movie? Uh, the Birds, uh, Angry Birds. He said uh, he said I'm from the least bit aquatic, remember? <laughs> yeah, that would be you. That definitely be you. Um. Yeah. Um, I it's it's weird because I love the water. You know, I love being you know I love going to the beach. I love being in the pool. You know, I just I love being around water, but I can't swim to save my life. But you know, I so I can survive just fine. You know, you don't have to know how to swim. I didn't grow up. You know, we didn't grow up going to the pool. Or, you know, or to to the beach or to learn how to swim like kids are here. Like my kids, we've been putting them in water for for as long as I can remember. With no swimming lessons and yeah. And it's, it's, I mean, I, I will show videos, you know, if, I think I still have some, some, some of these clips that, um, you know, if, if you see, like, if you, know, if you see the, the kids, I mean, Legend's been trying to swim for the longest, you know, ever since we've, we've been able to go to pools, you know, years ago or whatever. But um, I would say the most impressive one out of all the kids Prince. would be Prince, yeah. I mean, you just throw him in the water. <laughs> and he just comes right up and just balances himself out. And, yeah, he was swim, man. <laughs> like he was uh born to swim almost you know but the pecking order if, if you want to do an order the pecking order in the family the first the, the best one would be you know her you know surprisingly she, she, right <laughs> last time we think she's the best at um in the house she'll swim the best um and then i'll put prince behind her then i'll put legend then i'll put kenji and noe and then myself because Noe, Noe is pretty good underwater herself. Yeah. Because we, I mean, I, I guess that's the thing. I mean, there's something that scared me when I see it on, on online or that throw babies in the pool, mm -hmm. and they're like, "Oh, they'll be fine" or whatever. You know, it scares the crap out of me. But with our kids, man, it's like I mean, it's and it's great because next time we go to grow flies, I, I don't have to put the vest on them anymore. Yeah. You know, because they just they jump in the pool and they swim. And, you know, Kenji gets a little scared, or at least he used to be a little scared. But now, he he will swim like they try to do like a. Um, a competition, you know, you know, mm -hmm, last mm -hmm, time, you know, mm -hmm. and he would swim. I mean, he'll still go back and forth, you know. And Kenji's gotten good now because now, before he used to get nervous and then pretend well, not pretend, but he would get nervous and then drown, supposedly, um, but not drown, um, freak out. But now that I've taught him to flip himself over and float, when he gets tired swimming in the front, he'll just flip himself over and then just be on his back with his head, head above the water. Of course, and then you know, kick his legs until he gets uh, to a good place where he can turn back over and, and continue uh, trying his best to swim. So yeah, and what I've seen with Prince was that he would jump in the water and kind of just keep his arm back and mm -hmm. just keep doing this and like that. a tadpole almost, right? Yeah. Like a fish. He keeps his arm to the side and then just uses his body. His, body. his head. I mean, it's it's beautiful to see, but it's and then yeah, he would swim like a long distance like that. But the thing that I thought was impressive uh, on Saturday when they were racing was that he, he started going doing this. You know, what is that called? Pedaling or whatever? Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. he was doing, if you watch the video, like, he, he you know, he would bring his head out, swim, you know, breathe. And then he kept, you know, doing that, you okay. know. To, so he was using his arms as well. Yeah, 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 to, to go back and forth. And, and they all do. So I'm really um, happy with that. I can't, me, what I do to combine my non-swimming self is that I hope. That's what he does. <laughs> I, 
I hold my nose. I can I, I can go on the water without holding my nose so I can control my breathing, you know. But I just kind of it's for safety reasons I rather hold it. You should look at all our videos on three Ks and Lady. That's all you see when he's underwater. <laughs> and the reason why I go all the way to the bottom is because I use the bottom uh, you know as a push, you know what I mean? Like when I Oh Yes, that's I told you that. That's how I swim. I go all the way to <laughs> So you drop all the way to the bottom, and then when you get to the bottom, you push off with your hand and come back up? <laughs> no, to, to get to my destination. Because Remember, because I'm not letting go of my nose, so I use my one hand to, you know. <laughs> no wonder your hands are so rough. So you just be clawing the bottom? Who does that? Hey, if you're not the best one, you have to hustle. That's just how it is. Um, but yeah, so... learn how to move the rest of his body. <laughs> So I'll buy those uh, the goggles that cover everything, cover my face and my nose, and I can just go on it. And I'll be just one. Thirty something years old in the pool with a with a full scuba diving set on. <laughs> and then I can learn how to use my arm. Then I can I can I can uh, swim. I can learn that way. Just and hold it, your breath. I do. I'm able to hold my breath. Yeah, just on. hold it and then push out with your nose, but not out so that you're creating bubbles. Just kind of that balance where you're just pushing enough water out where it's like I'm able to. Yeah, I gotta find the balance. I mean, it's important because you know, um, in in our journey of, of traveling, you know, that we hope to start soon, whatever. I do, we do still plan to spend some time in the Caribbean, you know. And so, I mean, every there was a time we talked about wanting a beach house, you know. If we, have, you know what I'm saying. So mm-hmm. we always talk about the water, pool, and all that stuff. So obviously, at some point, I have to. I've gotten a lot, a lot more comfortable um, in the water since we have you know pools where we live now. Um, so the next step is for me to, uh, you know, start swimming a little more and then, you know, get really comfortable with it. So when we go places, I can, you know, I can swim without a problem. Um, and I've been swimming ever since I was, what, like 11? Yeah. Trust me, when I first started out, I, I was just like him, clinging to the wall. Uh, that was my first time at the pool. Um, and then after that, listen, I became a professional uh, Baywatch victim, drowning in the pool, waiting to be saved. Um, okay. Stop it. <laughs> um, but ever since, like, 11, like I said, ever since, like, 11, I've, I've enjoyed swimming. I, I take special pride in being able to go all the way down to the bottom, um, you know, in a six-foot pool. But before that, I mean, I've, I've went, you know, I've gone all the way down to the bottom in small lakes or whatever. Um, I remember one time at camp, we had this lake or whatever, and I think it was probably, like, 12 feet. And I went away to the bottom in one breath and came back up. So, um, yeah, I kind of enjoy doing that. It was, it was always fun in that. Let me show you how you know far I can go. I like to swim. When I swim, I swim at the very the bottom of the pool. I go down and I scrape the ground. And, you know, in one breath, I go away to the end. And, you know. Swimming is fun. Uh, you know, just make sure you're always safe. You know? mm-hmm. Make sure I, you're I think, safe. Yeah. I think Don't overdo it. Big bodies of water, like a pool or the beach or whatever. The one thing that I've always said... And I say this about a lot of things like fire or whatever. I said, you know, um, uh, uh, don't fear it, right? But you should respect it. Mm-hmm. You don't fear it because um, you don't fear it because if if you were to um, something were to happen, if you don't panic, then you have. I feel like you have the best chance of survival because you can think a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, but you respect it because it can hurt you. You know what I mean? The water is weird. It's like fire and things else. You know, it's weird. Like it, it, it has the ability to hurt you. But if you respect, if you, you know, you respect it, but you don't fear it, you know, so. Know its boundaries, know your boundaries. Uh, you're in its space, especially in open bodies of water. In a pool, not so much because it's contained, but in open bodies of water, of course, no, you know, you're in its space. And uh, what one day might seem like a normal uh, swim and nothing happens, might not happen the next day. It's nature. And there you have it, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm still the best woman, of course, hands down. Just want to make that clear. I, I said that. I made that declaration in the beginning. But I mean, you did make it like as clear as you do if we were talking about who's the best cook. Okay. I did say she is the best swimmer um, in the house. So by far. don't leave your kids alone with him in the pool. No, no, no. Because they're all going down. No, no, no. I'll, uh, that's the one thing I know. That, that's the one thing I know. That's why I don't like leaving. That's why I want like you be like, oh, I'm gonna take the kids to the pool. I'm like, oh, okay. And I did all week long. You didn't move. That was a whole different story. Why I didn't move? No, not why you didn't. Move. That's the matter. You didn't. You didn't, you didn't say. Oh my God, you didn't say anything. I, I got the kids. Like that's you know. 
the kids will probably save him before. No. <laughs> no. I got a heart of a damn I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't let that go, please. Wait, you'll let that go and then what? Y'all all be letting go? No, 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 no. no. But I'll tell you, I'll give you an example. One of the that we went to the pool, right? Mm -hmm. Like last time, you know, we stay on the edge and then she said, go, 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 and I move out and she jump. So I told her to hold on. I'm not going, I'm gonna go. I'm, I'm busy, you know how I, I go back, right? I said, hold on, so. She jumped she didn't anyways. Me. Right, so I go like this, I'm going in the water, and she jumped, you know? So I had to let go of my nose and hold her like this. You know what I mean? That's the only advantage like that. that he has, is his yeah, strength. That's the only advantage that you have, is your strength. But You're that, stronger than me, but in the sense that you could go like this. I wouldn't be able to go like that. Right, but that's why I, ne I never worry, because I'm like, okay, if, if push comes to shove, I can stay underwater as long as I need to. And if I even I have to go legend on my one hand, I can hold them up because I've done that. Now you know, not you know what I'm saying. I've held mm -hmm. them up. I can, you know, so I can hold them up. You know, so I, I held her up, and I was trying to move myself back, but I held her out of the water, and I moved back all the way to the thing I'm in. So our next video we're gonna do is who's the best cook and watch. This is gonna get a little bit more contentious. Then who's the best woman? Who's the best woman was the hands down. It was me, clearly. We just wanted to talk and, you know, go through the motions and put it on video. But who's the best cook is going to get dicier than a mug. Trust. Okay, anyway, this is the end of this video. If this is your first time watching our, our channel. Don't swim with him. Just subscribe to swim us. Swim with me. <laughs> Hit that subscribe button. Um... I, I will, we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll make some, some good swimming videos on me attempting to swim, you know, the long way in the pool, and we'll see what happens. Um, you mean you attempting not to drown the long ways in the pool? No, we'll me, see attempt, what happens. me attempting to swim normally, like without, you know, all the stuff that I right. want to Him asking to be saved. No, I don't want to ask this. <laughs> lifeguard! There's no lifeguard. I am the lifeguard. He is the lifeguard. <laughs> so you know we're in danger. I am the lifeguard. He's the lifeguard. <laughs> Anyway, this is the end of this video. We'll see you next time for another episode of After Dark with Megan and Mo. Thank you so much for watching us. Really appreciate it. And yes, see indeed. you next time. Peace.